Hey, fantasy football friends. So tomorrow will be week two, our week two Sunday, all our big games tomorrow. Um, today, I'm headed out to a pool party. But before I do that, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my favorite matchups for tomorrow and how you can take advantage of them on your fantasy teams. Now, the big one tomorrow, and it's a big one because of who they're playing. And this should be true for every time a team plays this particular team throughout the season until they prove otherwise. So my favorite starts for tomorrow are everybody on the New York Giants. Everyone, except the defense. Um, because the new, they are playing the New Orleans Saints, and the New Orleans Saints defense is just really, really crappy, and we want to take advantage of that. So you want to start Eli Manning. You want to start all your running backs and your wide receivers. Um, you know, New Orleans gave up 36 points to the running backs last week and 32 points to the wide receivers last week. And that was against Oakland, which Oakland's um, offense, I don't think has as much of an upside as the New York Giants. So I'm expecting big things out of these Giants players tomorrow. In fact, I am starting both Shane Vereen and um, Sterling Shepard, who I like this kid, this rookie. He's pretty interesting. Um, I'm starting them both tomorrow because I think that they're going to put up a lot of points. Plus, big game tomorrow I'm predicting for ODB, Odell Beckham Jr., because he's going up against Crawley, and Crawley gave up 21 fantasy points alone last week. So I don't think this guy has any shot at containing Odell Beckham Jr. So ODB is going to have a big game, but of course you're going to start him anyway, so that's not news to you. Um, another wide receiver I like this week, Dante Moncrief. Dante Moncrief. Now, uh, T.Y. is going to be covered quite a bit. Dante Mon Moncrief is going up against the cornerback Roby from uh, the Broncos. Now, I know you're probably thinking, why would I start a wide receiver against the Broncos? So, number one, it is Moncrief, and I like what he's doing this year. And number two, this cornerback is a weak link in that Broncos defense. So he gave up 15 points to Kelvin Benjamin last week. And I think that Moncrief is every good, every bit of the wide receiver that Benjamin is. So I like Moncrief this week. And you know what? I'm again I'm putting my money where my mouth is because I am starting Moncrief this week versus the Broncos. Um, two running backs that I like this week. Actually, one running back that I really like this week. Again, and expect big things from him. And of course, again, I think this is a no-brainer. I think you're going to start him anyway. But D'Angelo Williams, I think, is going to have a big day against the Bengals. Um, they gave up 96 rushing yards and 59 receiving yards to Forte last week. And as we all know, D'Angelo had a huge game against the Redskins as well. So if you have some specific questions about who you should start, I am going to be on the radio all this week at team1010.com. So you can check it out. They do live stream the radio bit. So I will be on all week except for Tuesday. I'll be on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I'll be there to answer all of your fantasy football questions. So be sure to check them out. The Daily Blender with Jeffrey O'Brien at team1010.com from noon to one o'clock Pacific time and tweeting your questions to me. I'm happy to answer those specific fantasy football questions. I hope to see you there. And until next week, I hope that all of your players have a great week. Don't get injured and score lots of points. See you next week.